Welcome to Our Family Beat. I'm Brigitte and today is my birthday! So I'm gonna make a keto layered pudding cheesecake type of dessert. It's gonna be so delicious and so yummy, so come follow along to see how I make it. Let's go! It's my birthday! Welcome to Our Family Beat. I'm Brigitte, and like I said, I'm gonna make a keto dessert for my birthday. If you're new here on this channel, we desire to inspire real people to love well, live wisely, and be better together. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell and hit all so you don't miss any other videos that come out, which we post every Tuesday and Friday. If you aren't part of the family on Instagram, head on over to OFB Social because we would love to connect with you over there. It's a lot more personal. We can direct message you guys. It's just so good to be able to see your your faces over there so go ahead check out OFB social and go ahead and check out our blog which is ourfamilybeat.com okay let's get into this video because I'm super excited and I want to eat it right now and I haven't even made it first step we're gonna preheat the oven to 325 and I always need to make sure nothing's in there because sometimes I store stuff in there there's nothing in there so we're good okay I have all of my ingredients laid out in little bowls and there are four layers I got this recipe from a website so I will link it down below it is not my own but I'm excited to try it out I've never made it before but it looks absolutely delicious because it has chocolate and whipped cream and best of all it's keto so it won't mess with my blood sugar and make me feel like crap after I eat it first up is the chocolate layer crust so let me show you my ingredients. Here's for the chocolate layer crust. Here's for the cheesecake layer. Here's for the chocolate pudding layer. Here's for the whipped cream layer. First up is my chocolate crust. So let's put this in a bowl and whip it up. I need to melt the butter. Almond flour, cocoa powder, powdered sweetener, salt, butter. Mmm, that's tasty. So I'm going to put this on parchment paper in a nine by nine baking dish. Actually, I think mine's eight by eight, but whatever. I'm just gonna cut off the sides of the parchment paper here because I don't want it getting all over. I'm gonna bake this for about 15 minutes. Set a timer for 14 minutes. Sure, 14 minutes, and that's starting now. Okay, while that's cooking in the oven for 15 minutes, I need to do the cheesecake layer. Okay, the directions say, while the crust is baking, make it the cream cheese layer. Use a hand mixer to beat the cream, vanilla extract, and powdered erythritol together to form stiff peaks. Okay, here we go. like a stiff peak I think what do you think uh, maybe a minute longer uh, I think that's stiff enough okay now gradually beat in the softened cream cheese a bit at a time until well combined alrighty well here we go you see don't forget to hit the thumbs up button because it really helps to support our channel and also if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment down below it also helps the YouTube algorithm to say oh people like this video let's share it with more people which is of course what we want because that's how our channel gets supported so hit the like button hit subscribe if you haven't already done that and go ahead and follow us on social media at OFB social because we want to connect with you there okay back to the video okay maybe I should have used 
the beaters, but I don't know, I like the whisk. Anyways, let's take all this out, mix it together with the spatula. Should I taste it, you guys? Listen, if you taste as you go along, like while you're cooking or baking, let me know in the comments down below because I typically do not, but Brandon always does. And I know that good chefs and cooks do. I don't know, does that make me not a good chef? I don't know, but I'm gonna taste this and see. It's good. Okay, that looks like a good cream cheese layer. I mean, tastes amazing. So I have to wait for the crust to finish and for it to cool. So I'm just gonna leave it off to the side and we're gonna start the next layer. The next layer is the chocolate pudding layer, which seems the most involved of all the layers. This is gonna be on the stove in a pot. Combine the almond milk, heavy whipping cream, and sweetener. Go over here, which is not very bright. Heavy cream, almond milk, medium heat, and sweetener. Okay, while that's heating up, I need to whisk the eggs together, the egg yolks together. Does anyone know a trick to take egg yolks away from the egg whites? No? Well, gonna figure it out, I guess. I don't know, I think I'm just gonna let it be because even if it, like, I'm sure it'll harden as it cools and I don't wanna overcook it. Like, I'd rather still have it undercooked because it will still be good undercooked. But if you overcook it, it won't be that good. Okay, here we go with the egg yolks. Don't laugh at me, okay? If you can do better, give me some tips. Guys, this is so stressful. I don't know why it's so stressful. One more, one more. Oh my gosh, why? Why? Why is this one so difficult? The last one always the most difficult. Yes! Okay, make sure you save your egg whites. You can use those for, you know, omelets or stuff in the morning for breakfast. No wasting around here. Okay, now I need to whisk them. Whisk them. Whisk them together. Here we go. Slowly add half a cup of hot cream mixture into the yolks to temper, then slowly whisk tempered yolks back into the saucepan. Pour back in. Ooh, hot. Okay, turning the stove to medium low and then I'm going to whisk in the xanthan gum. I'm gonna sprinkle the xanthan gum on top and whisk Vigorously. Whisk vigorously, vigorously. I think now mix the cocoa. Whisk for three to four minutes. Okay, cook it until it thickens. Few minutes here. Ooh, this is looking delish. Delish. I just tasted that pudding. OMG, so good. I just want to eat it now. I don't want to wait. Okay, let's see what's next. Let's stay ahead of the game here. Oh, I have to cool that for 15 minutes. Alright, so I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator then when it's done thickening. Things take so long. All right, I'm basically gonna start putting stuff in the fridge to cool because it's taking forever. I'm gonna put the crust in the fridge, put the cheesecake layer in the fridge, and the pudding mixture, which I need to get a bowl for. So let me do that. This smells amazing. Wish you guys could smell this. Go on in the fridge. Oh no. Ah, I forgot to add the butter and the vanilla extract to the pudding. I gotta take it back out. Okay, now it's going back in the bowl into the fridge. Can't believe I forgot. It's a good thing I had my mise en place out because I saw it and I was like, oh no, that's supposed to go in. 
clean in between, everyone, because then it's not as bad at the end. Unless someone else is cleaning for you, and then do whatever you want to do. <laughs> oh, this is for my egg yolks. Okay, going in the fridge. Okay, now I'm gonna make the whipped cream topping, and usually we make homemade whipped cream in our Vitamix because it's so quick, it's like 30 seconds, but you do have to have like a minimum level for it to really work the best. And since this is a smaller amount, I'm just gonna do it by hand, which is probably how the majority of people do this recipe. So I'm gonna use the whisk on my blender still and use heavy whipping cream and some sweetener and vanilla extract, and that's it. So let's get to that. You know what would taste really good with this? I'm imagining, because I've never actually eaten it yet, but that whipped coffee that's going around, which I do want to try, by the way, uh, because that looks so delicious on its own, plus putting it with this, oh my gosh, like, I, I'm i gonna jump on the bandwagon. I'm gonna do the whipped coffee. I'm just wondering if I should do it today or not. If you guys have tried it, leave a comment down below, because I'd really like to know if you tried it and loved it as much as I think I'm gonna try it and love it. Yeah, whipped cream time. Heavy whipping cream, sweetener, and vanilla extract. Okay, I'm taking a poll. Who likes to bake more than cook? Because I feel like I like to do both, but I think I'm maybe a better baker because I'm more precise at measuring, whereas Brandon is very much to lie by the seat of his pants when he's in the kitchen and so he doesn't like recipes and you know baking you have to be pretty precise so he likes to cook more because it's very forgiving and you can just add this and that and it doesn't have to have exact measurements whereas baking is you know you have to do a quarter teaspoon and all that so that everything combines and rises and all that kind of stuff so Tell me, are you a better baker or cook? And do you like to do that more? Which one, baking or cooking? Let me know in the comments down below. It's thickening up, guys. Oh yeah, that is good stuff right there. After I assemble it all, I still have to let it sit in the refrigerator for like an hour or two until it kind of firms up. So it's already testing my patience. Okay, I think it's cool enough for me to start layering it because it's going back in the fridge anyways. Bottom layer, then cheesecake layer. That's what we're gonna do. Which one is it? Do you wanna try cheesecake? Yeah. Cheesecake layer. Mmm, what do you think? Is that yummy? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> kind of? Okay, chocolate layer next. Chocolate pudding layer. Hey. Right? Ooh. Say hi, bunny. Hello. Shock. I get it. Pudding. It is like pudding. Mommy made this homemade. Pudding. Chocolate pudding layer. Ooh, can I try some? You can try it on the spoon after. Hold on. Here, do you want to lick, lick in there? I'll lick one. Now the whipped cream layer. Okay, here it is, but I'm gonna do some sh chocolate shavings for on top. So, it says to use sugar-free chocolate. I mean, I'm gonna use this 85% cocoa, because that's what I have. I mean, I also have 90%, but, oh. There is no 85%. Oh wait, here it is. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the fridge to cool for uh, one to two hours. I'm back here looking at you funny. And then I'll show you what it looks like. Yum. Are you excited? It's cheesecake, right? Yeah, like a cheesecake pudding with homemade whipped cream and a chocolate You have me a crust. cheesecake. Cheese. <laughs> yeah, but it's a dessert. It's like not. Yeah, but I like cheesecake and ice cream and I oh, like yeah. creamy desserts. She likes cake. I don't care about cake. But this is like a mix. It's like, because oh. um, it's like a pudding. And but then... you made it, so it'll be wonderful. Yeah. Well, thanks. 
Okay, it's been a couple hours. I'm gonna get out of the fridge and I'm gonna show it to you guys. I'm gonna try it. It looks and smells delicious. Listen, I got all the layers. Mmm. Mmm. It's like light and fluffy and sweet, but not too sweet. And then the crust, oh, it's like that little bit of touch of salt and the chocolate. It's like a I can make a pie. I mean, it's basically like a pie, but like a layered pie. Oh, it's so good. Oh, so good. This is exactly what I wanted. Happy birthday to me. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit that button right here down below. And if you want to see more videos by us, check them out over here. Until we meet again, don't forget, life is better together. Lovely.